We're one of the few, I, I've been to all the meetings. Mm -hmm. You're one of the few that represented the kids who maybe are a little shy to get up and talk. Yeah. What do they say? They're confused at the process because the process for them seems to be coming back to back. A lot of the students that I spoke through just went through, through this ARC process just a couple years ago with Kinghurst closing and amalgamating into CDCS. They're finally just getting settled and they're being thrown right back into the world once again. And they're upset and it's, they're having sleepless nights, they're, you know, they're crying on each other's shoulders. They just don't like the process at all and they don't understand why so soon back to back that the board just can't keep with the decisions they've already made. Not at all, not at all. And like my daughter had said, this is her choice to go to this school. And so many kids have said, this is their choice to stay there. They knew the numbers were low. They knew that in a short period of time, within the next few years, that Chesley High will be full. And they are making accommodations for the kids' education and the plans that they need to get the, the courses that they need and the kids can still stay at the school. Why isn't that good enough for the board? And that's the questions that these students need answered. They are affected huge. Um, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for others. As a parent of 10 children, and I have six children that are severely ADHD, bipolar, I've got IEPs coming out my yang yang with some of these kids. Um, the transition is going to be extremely difficult. I know the board in past meetings has referred to it being no different than when they, they amalgamated OSCBI with West Hill and Owen Sound. This is a huge difference. The transition there was not great. The kids suffered badly, but it's still a school within a, a community. They're not moving children completely out of the, their homes and the community itself.